Hey everybody, Lee from PC Junkie Mods. So today is going to be a fun day. Uh, I'm going to start off this video by doing a little intro to the system that I've been waiting to build. I've had the hardware since December. My uh, customer, Phil, is very excited now. He keeps asking me, well, you got the desk. When am I going to get the desk? When am I going to get the, my setup? But uh, he's, he's not being impatient. He's just curious. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I got a Red Harbinger desk and that is actually for Phil and I have all this hardware that's going in it and of course you know you're gonna see this GT610 and everybody of course is giving me crap about that because I put a photo on uh, Facebook about that but so basically the concept for this build is to Phil does he works from home he does a lot of uh, web trafficking and, and other stuff I don't know all the details of what he does but he does a lot of stuff and he has fun doing it so what he wants is this desk is perfect for it he wants a dual system one that will be on 24 7 and that system will be able to remote log into it and take care of whatever it is that he's doing for a living the other side will be his gaming system where he'll be able to game and work from so he'll actually be able to do all his web surfing and whatever what have you on the gaming system and then be able to log into this one from that system or just whatever, you know, because they're right next to each other so he can do pretty much whatever he wants. Um, he will be having a multiple monitor setup. I do have the stand and all that stuff here. Um, we'll get into that stuff later because we haven't figured out how we're gonna mount that yet. So the basic specs of the system is I have in front of me, I have a Rampage uh, 4 Black Edition motherboard for the gaming side. It'll have a 4930K uh, processor, 64 gigs of RAM, two 512 uh, SSDs. I think they're the Samsung 840 Pros right here. There's two of those. Um, it'll also have a RAID card and it will have <coughs> six four terabyte hard drives for a RAID setup. And yes, there's a box down there on the floor. It's full of all of his hard drives and some of my stuff's in there too, but anyways. So on the other side, that's just basic spec. I don't want to get too far into it. That system will also have a full water cooling system. I'm going to do copper hard line. Um, so as you can see, the random water cooling parts in front of me, it will have the a lot of uh, aqua computer com components, the, the water blocks for the video cards. Um, some of their, their sensors, the Aquero 6 XT fan controller. Uh, it'll have dual pumps on it, whatever, what have you. There's just a lot of stuff. We'll come back to that. Um, as far, and it also will have uh, three GTX Titans on that, that setup. I wish the blacks would have came out before we made the purchase, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it always, it never fails. It always happens, right? So um, for the other setup, it will be a Sabertooth motherboard with a 4820K on it. It will also have uh, six four terabyte hard drives with the RAID card for the backup storage. It will have the GT610, low cost, low power, very simple graphics card. That will be on there. It will be cooled uh, by an H105 um, Corsair all-in-one water cooler. And it will also have 64 gigs of RAM. So, uh, no corners were cut. I mean, most people will probably try to say that the 610 is, is a corner cut, but what do you need a, a 780 Ti on a system that's never gonna be doing any intense graphics? All it is is for video if he ever needs to log into it, which he's, you know, uh, if he needs to hook a monitor to it, but most likely he's not ever gonna be a monitor hooked to it. So that pretty much covers a lot of the parts. There are two RAID cards and a bunch of uh, cables and stuff there. Uh, they're the Adaptec 6805s. They are SATA 2s, um, I mean, they're, they're SATA 3s, I'm sorry, PCI Express 2.0. And um, I also have the little fractal design fan to, to cool them. I have two of these, one is already installed on one of the cards. Um, so I'm thinking for color scheme, we're gonna be shooting for black, red, and slight touch of yellow. We do have uh, sunshine yellow liquid from Mayhem's in front of me here. Um, that is going to be the liquid unless we decide to change to all red and black. Um, so I'm going to try to do some accent scenting. Uh, both power supplies will get sleeved once I know the lengths. So let's take a look at the desk. So um, 
I get a lot of questions. I keep getting these questions over and over again. Um, basically, where to get water cooling parts. There's a lot of different shops. Uh, well, there's not a lot. There's a handful. It depends on your location. In the United States, the place that I recommend you buy from is from my buddy Hank at Performance PCS. That's where I got all this gear. I mean, you can get anything you need for water cooling, modding, anything, you name it, he has it. So please stop by Hank's and tell him I sent you. So here we are, pure awesomeness, the Red Harbinger cross desk. Um, I did a review video, so if you get a chance, jump over there and check that out. It gives a lot more in depth of what you can do with the desk, uh, what it comes with when you buy it, uh, the accessories and stuff like that and the capabilities. Um, just a basic overview, we're going to have a 480 rad in the back, a 360 rad on that side. This will have the AIO. I may not even install fans there, don't know yet because if there's nothing back there to cool, there's no point. But I am going to run out of hard drive space so I may be installing his six hard drives back here and the SSD for this, this will be the 24-7 system. Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out. Once I know, you'll know. This side over here will be the water cooled setup. Um, so for the most part, I'm gonna have copper tubes that come straight out of like the processor and I'm gonna utilize these grommets and they'll go straight through and then plug into whatever's in the back. Same with the video cards, they'll come straight through and then I'll have a radiator there. The reservoir and pumps will be here somewhere. Um, this is a lot of space for just one reservoir and uh, two pumps, but uh, I gotta make it look good, but not look gaudy. All right, so that pretty much covers this part of the video. I just kind of wanted to do an introdu introduction video of what's going on and what we're gonna be doing and give that plug to my uh, preview of the, the desk. Um, so anyways, uh, once again, thanks for watching my video. Until next time.